welcome back to my channel it's your girl elda and i trust and pray that you are having a blessed and prosperous day but i welcome you with love hugs and kisses Mwah! listen but in order for you to be my cousin right right i need you to hit the subscribe button right right and i need you to hit up that bell right then light up the comment section with hashtag Dow Cousin Gang. Let me know you rocking with your girl. You already know and you officially my cousin. You feel what I'm saying? And those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cuzzo? What's up for me? You know it's all love over here, baby. But you know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey. So you guys listen. Y'all already know it's Monday. Y'all already know how we rock, okay? Normally, I would do a vlog of what I did for the weekend. But um, this weekend, I went on a short, uh, I don't want to, you could say sabbatical, you could say hiatus, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But I had to limit my, I was done peopling, okay? Um, because I needed that moment to get my thoughts together pour back into myself um so yeah so and then um but sunday um yesterday when my apostle was preaching um it hit home it's one of those messages you know when they be preaching or somebody be saying something real good and it be so real it be so authentic and it just really hit the core of your spirit that you can't even talk you can't even say amen you can't even say hallelujah you just gotta really sit and just take it all in and what she preached yesterday was one of those messages and what stuck out for me and what really i want to say like slap me in the face y'all just pop, pop, pop. it was shift now shift now shift now shift now and instantly when she was like shift now i it's like a whole load of things just begin to flow and i was just like oh my god like i seriously need to shift and i pray that this encourage you i pray that this provokes you i pray that this speaks to you okay because oftentimes we're waiting for manifestation on certain things to take place but we are not being consistent we are not being productive and we are still battling in our mind um we are still beating ourselves up of what we don't have what we should have had what we should have did should have could have would us we just beating ourselves up all right and let me tell you something even over the weekend when they um i think it was spirit a uh, let me so I, so I, so they don't come for me um spiritual word um i believe they gave a shout out to sarah jake roberts um for her birthday and i was shocked at her age y'all because i thought sister girl was older than that and i was just like oh my god so seeing celebrating her of course for her birthday but also seeing her age and everything that she has accomplished and everything that she has that she is doing it, it, it your girl had to check herself okay now it wasn't to compare it wasn't to um belittle myself in any way but once again it, it takes maturity to be able to look at the success of somebody else where it push where it motivates you and it was just like duh what you what you doing sis like what 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 are you doing what is the block what is the hindrance what is the why why are you procrastinating why when you get that momentum you stop because you get the momentum and then you stop or something happens and it caused me to shut down like when i say shut down i mean shut down okay so it really had me looking at myself and then here comes the word sunday here comes the word and i'm hearing shift now and i'm like certain things that we're waiting to take place is it is not going to take place until we shift mentally until we allow our minds until we allow our our spirit until we allow our actions to line up with that very thing when we allow it to click okay when we allow it to come together is when we can truly come to a place where we shift okay and that and and that's that we need to eliminate the excuses. We need to stop with the um, beating up ourselves. Okay? 
We need to stop and we just need to go, okay? We just need to go. TTG, trying to go. All right? So it's like, what is it, what is it going to take for you to shift? What is it really going to take? All right? So y'all know me. If y'all follow me on social media or y'all seen me, um, you know, once upon a time when I used to go live, okay, when I used to go live, which I'm coming back. Um, which I'm coming back, okay? But I had to look up shift, okay? It says move or cause to move from one place to another especially over a small distance and when you look at the um, synonyms it's move it's carry um transfer transport haul fetch transpose rearrange reposition slide relocate listen ask yourself what is keeping me from shifting what is keeping me from shifting to the greater? What is keeping me from shifting, uh, especially when it comes to elevation, increase, or bettering yourself in any way? What is blocking me? What is holding me back? Ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal that to you, to expose it so that you're able to pray strategically. Okay, so that you can break yourself loose from that cycle so that you can truly propel forward. Now, listen, as I say this to you, baby, I'm taking my own advice. You hear me? Do you hear me? I don't think y'all heard me. Listen, I have to go back to writing weekly goals, to quarterly goals, to, um, to, to yearly goals. Okay, like. We need to get back to speaking. We need to get back to affirming. We need to get back to praying. We need to get back to, you know, consulting God. All right? Because sometimes we feel like we don't have the support. Um, that can cause, you know, um, one to, 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 to prevent one from shifting or going forward or executing because of the lack of support. Listen, at the end of the day, nothing is going to come until you start moving. All right. One of the analogies um, that the Holy Spirit has showed me, I remember walking into Walmart and they was looking at me crazy, but I remember walking into Walmart. So when I walked up, um, I walked up and I, when I got closer, the door opened and the Holy Spirit said, stop. And then I was like, okay. And so I stopped and I'm looking around like, okay, I got to minister to somebody and the Holy Spirit say back up. So I started to back up until the Holy Spirit say stop again. And then I walked up to the door again. And then um, and, and instantly the revelation I got is the doors won't open until I align myself with the motion detector. So if that motion detector never picked up that I was in front of that door, then guess what? That door was not going to open unless I had to pry it open, right? If it wasn't locked. So what I'm saying is you have to align yourself with the motion detectors that's going to bring forth what it is that you need in this season but we cannot be in a place where we are not allowing ourselves to shift and we're not moving when God is telling us to pivot when God is telling us to move when God is telling us to do we need to get to a point where we stop allowing um, ourselves we stop allowing the enemy we stop allowing procrastination we stop allowing doubt we stop allowing fear to rule to reign and to govern us where we're not where we're not propelling forward the way that we desire so i need you to go ahead and comment below what do you feel like is keeping you from shifting now y'all know i'm gonna read the comments okay and i'm definitely gonna be in prayer um and be lifting you up in prayer because as i increase as i go from glory to glory in christ jesus listen i want the same for you all right but time to definitely shift okay no more mediocre no more playing no more lollygagging like playtime is over we need to go ahead and do what we need to do so that we can co continue to be great okay but listen if this has blessed you if this has encouraged you in any way i need you to go ahead thumbs up All right, and I need you to go ahead and comment um, what do you feel like is holding you back and what was your favorite, um, what stood out to you from this uh, brief encouragement or this brief chat? Um, what, what has stood out to you? What has 
Um, and if you were truly encouraged by it, you know, interact with me because oh, you already know, baby, you already know how we get down. But I love you. Be blessed, be encouraged, and remember, baby, you have victory on every side. Yeah.